Welcome to this Yen Yoga class for full body flexibility. We will start right away in a dangling forward fold pose. So please step both feet to the middle of the mat, hip width distance apart or wider, bending your knees as deep as you want to. And then letting yourself hang over your legs. You can hold on to opposite elbows with your chin to your chest. Weight is evenly distributed on both feet. And alternatively, you could interlace your fingers behind your neck and add some gentle pressure and weight here. Not pulling on the neck, just adding the weight to take the stretch even more into the shoulder and neck area. Just play around with both options and decide which one you like best. Release the hands back down to the ground and come to sit down. We make our way into a toe stretch. If you have sensitive knees, please use a folded blanket to pad your knees. So from kneeling, please flex your feet, curling the toes under. And then shift your body back until your hips rest directly on your heels. Your palms can rest on your thighs, your back and neck remain long. And if this stretch is a little bit too intense for you like this, you can put your hands on the ground out in front of you. And maybe you could also flip the palms to add in a wrist stretch as well. So regular yin yoga poses are held for three to five minutes or even longer. But these poses are not held for quite as long, about two minutes here. Always remember, if it gets too intense for you, you can always come back to rest in child's pose.
Let's release if you had the wrist stretch. Slowly peel your hands off the ground and maybe do a few wrist circles as a counter pose. Shake out your wrists and then maybe adjust your blanket. We're going to sit down and extend both legs out in front of us. Coming into a half shoelace, keeping your right leg straight, bending the left knee and crossing your left foot over the right thigh to stack your left knee directly on top of the right one. And if your knee stays more uplifted than mine, that's totally fine. You can always use a blanket or a block to fill in any gaps. Stay upright if this is enough of a stretch for you. Otherwise, you can gently fold forward. Maybe use a block on the second or first level to support your head and make this a little bit easier to hold. Take your time to find your edge and if your mind starts to wander, bring your attention back to your breath or to any sensation you're feeling.
Use your arms to press yourself back up very slowly and mindfully. Put your block off to the side and before going to the second side we will do some windshield wiper motions as a counter pose. So feet flat on the ground and then knees from side to side. This time your left leg goes out straight, bend your right leg to cross it over the left thigh, aligning your knees on top of each other or at least as close as possible, without feeling pain or too strong of a sensation. And then stay here or you can fold forward, maybe placing the forehead on a block so that you can relax and let go even more. On an intensity scale from 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5, which you might find not as intense as in other classes, but because we're holding the pose for a longer period of time, we really don't want to go all in right away. We rather invite the body to open up over time.
palms down on the ground, come back up using arm strength, head is the last thing to stack over your shoulders and then uncross your legs before transitioning to the floor, just let the knees fall from side to side in a windshield wiper motion. Next, we will come into a child's pose variation with a side bend. So please come to kneeling. Knees can be as close together or as wide apart as you would like. Fold over your legs and then walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. And then fold forward, resting your head on the mat or on a block if the floor is too far away. Let your upper body completely rest. Gravity does the work. Send your breath into your left side ribs. Fill that space with more air, more space. Come up and then walk your palms over to the left side, coming into the second side right away. And then again folding back down. Taking it into your right side ribs, feeling a nice stretch there. So many of us sleep on our sides. And so this is an area that can get really tight we tend to forget about our side body.
And now regular child's pose, come back to center and fold back down again. Palms can go out in front of you in a diamond shape or you can rest your head on stacked palms or you could also rest your palms back behind you. Press yourself back up, maybe place your hands out in front of you, if you had them, extended back, one vertebrae at a time. Staying in a kneeling position for a few moments to notice how you're feeling right now. Coming into our final resting position, lying down on our backs in Shavasana, remove your blanket, remove blocks, any props you had, and then come to lie down on your back. Take your time, there's no rush. When you're ready, stretch out into Shavasana. Straighten your legs, arms go out to the sides and just rest here.
this is where I will leave you. If you have time, I invite you to stay in Shavasana for as long as you can. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. And be proud of yourself for taking this time to prioritize your own well-being. And know that however this class went for you, you did enough because you are enough. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.